CC. Introduce this great lady. Well, I have met today the most amazing, inspiring, strong woman. At this event today, it's been great because we've been, you know, being involved with the games, all of that, which is fun. But at the end of the day, it's about one thing. It's about inspiring people who have dealt with Lyme disease, who are dealing with Lyme disease. And this woman, Michelle, is very strong and very inspiring. Thank you, Cece. Michelle, tell me, when did you first realize you had Lyme disease? The symptoms uh, came on in 2001, and uh, I had swollen lip nodes, I had um, a rash on my neck, and we were big cabin hikers at Sea Ranch. So that was the onset of symptoms, so I was diagnosed with mono, and, and then from there on, it took two years to figure out a diagnosis. But I think that when we really went after a diagnosis, um, I had my youngest son, Lucas, who's now 10. Is that uh, Lucas right here? Yes. Uh -huh. Wait, Lucas, say hi. <laughs> Lucas is busy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, five months um, after Luke was born, I went, I couldn't really turn my neck. I woke up, I felt like a whiplash victim. And my hands, I, it's like I had partial paralysis in my hands. And I went to pick up a coffee cup and it just slipped right out of my hands. And I thought, oh my gosh, okay, I've got a young infant here, and am I going to be able to pick him up? So, uh, my husband at that point carried Luke because I was worried I would drop him. So, we were even considering going to the ER, I was that concerned. So at that point, we then started searching for answers. I went through all kinds of tests. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, I was diagnosed with viral arthritis, I uh, was diagnosed uh, with, uh, I had one doctor tell me it was on my head, I needed a psychiatrist. What? Yes. Say that one more yeah. time. I needed a psychiatrist. My husband wanted to deck it. That, that was probably one of the yeah, lowest points. Yeah, so do points. I. Sorry yes. about that. Yes. That was probably one of the lowest points ever. He said, I think it's in your head, you just need to go see a really good uh, psychiatrist. So after um, about a six month search, it was actually my husband's best friend who said, have you thought about Lyme? And huh, I thought I'd been tested for Lyme years ago. I went to my doc and he went through my charts and he's like, oh my gosh, I, you haven't been tested for Lyme. Tested me for Lyme. Lyme testing back positive. So at that point, I said, okay, I want my son tested. And he said, oh, it can't pass vertically. It can't pass from mother to son. I said, I want my son tested because I was having problems with Luke. He wasn't meeting his developmental milestones. He wasn't gaining weight. He wasn't rolling over and turning like my other two children. So I was having problems with Luke. His test came back positive. So that's when I knew, okay, this was this was a bigger deal. And it was interesting, it was a pretty low point in my life meeting that doctor because he said, I just want you to know that you're gonna go on this journey with mine. It's kinda like a bad Stephen King sci-fi novel. The way the spire key can morph and change and hide in your body. It's gonna come and hide in your your DNA and so that was the beginning of the journey. So how where are you now? Now I I am it's what 2013, so we're 12 years out. I am 90% better. Woo! Yes. Woo! Yeah. I, I hey, represent, wait, wait. Yeah. Husband's happy. He clapped. Yeah. Daughter's Luke. happy, right? Yeah. 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 Hey, how's Luke doing? Luke is doing pretty darn good. Uh, yeah. He's on. Yes, he is. Yeah. Quite a few antibiotics right now, unfortunately, but but we're getting there with Luke. We're chipping away at it. And for me, I'm doing great. I'm in maintenance mode, so I just sometimes I have to go on antibiotics just to kind of maintain, and uh, and then sometimes I'm off antibiotics altogether. What do you say to those who may be watching this who have Lyme disease? I say um, absolutely have hope. We will find a cure, and it is preventable. Then I have to ask you, what kind of diet are you on? That's the question I've asked others. What, what, what kind of diet am I on? Uh, well, there is a Lyme diet, which is gluten-free, and um, avoiding sugar if all possible, and dairy-free. I, I love cheese, so um, I do sneak cheese in a little bit, but I try, I'm gluten-free, and pretty much uh, I try to avoid sugar. So, 
so because those are all infl infl you know, infl inflammatory you know, foods, so that just adds inflammation, which will then add to your pain. So, um, so our whole family is gluten free. And he's fine now. Luke is gonna get married and give you grandkids. Yeah, yeah you that. bet. He better. Yeah. Put some pressure on you, kid. Yeah, yeah. sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. He's done by it totally. Yeah. He's, he's like, yeah. Yeah. What do you think of all this? It's different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You're doing well. You're doing well. You're doing well. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.